Hi guys, welcome to the Define Creative Eye. I just finished watching Golden Globes and tonight all celebrities looked so amazing. Their makeup and fashion inspired me so much, but my favorite was Emma Stone's old Hollywood style hair and makeup. I thought she looked amazing, elegant and beautiful. Her hairstyle was simple but looked so fantastic and her makeup had just right amount of sparkle to it. I also thought her overall look would be great for Valentine's Day which is coming up really soon and I decided to recreate it in today's video. But above all, I was really inspired by Emma Stone's acceptance speech for her Best Actress nomination tonight as she said, hope and creativity are two most important things in the world so stay creative and don't lose hope. Let's get right into this tutorial. So I'm going to start moisturizing my skin with Rosehip Seed Facial Oil from Julep. During winter season, my skin is on a drier side, so I've been loving applying facial oils as a base for my foundation. And this is available at Ulta right now. I'm gonna move on with applying my favorite foundation, which is Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. And now using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I'm going to conceal all my dark circles and skin discoloration. And now blend, blend, blend. I also like to go over my lid, it will serve me as a primer for my eyeshadow. I feel like when the skin is well moisturized, blending the foundation is much easier and oil as a base works like magic for me. And now, using nude eyeliner in my skin tone, I'm going to conceal the dark spots. This is one of the methods that I featured in my acne coverage tutorial. If you want to learn more methods, don't forget to check that video out. I like the eyeliner trick because with this method, I get more precise and long-lasting result. Now I'm going to set my face with powder. I'm using L'Oreal True Match powder. It's time to fill in my brows, I will be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo and Clear Brow Gel. I apply lighter powder in inner half of my brows and darker one on the outer part. Using Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighting Duo Pencil, I will be cleaning out the brow. Brows are done and now let's zoom in and do the eyes. I'm going to start by applying eyeshadow in paper towel on my crease using Motus blending brush and the eyeshadow is by Motus Cosmetics as well. Now I will be using Wildflower to add some color to my crease. You have to be really careful when applying pink eyeshadow because you don't want to end up with a look that looks like a pink eye. Just make sure that you work with a little product at a time. I'm slightly going to add that on the outer half of my eye and also bring it to my lower lash line just halfway. Now with a flat brush, I will be applying pink diamond on my lid. Now using eyeshadow in Twiggy, I will be adding it as a liner. I'm going to apply it as close to my eyelashes as possible. And also I'm going to bring back a little bit to the lower lash line. Don't forget to blend it out. Now I'm going to be applying Motus Cosmetics Glitter in Zirconia on my lids and tear ducts. I'm first going to apply some glitter glue on my lids and then press glitter on top. I'm going to tone down the glitter on my lids a little bit. I'm just going to brush off some excess glitter from the lid. Now looking at Emma's makeup, I realized that her lids were a little lighter. So I added hairs to brighten up my lid. I added it on top of the glitter, which makes the glitter very subtle as well. Now I'm going to add some lashes and mascara and the eyes will be done. Lashes are on and I'm going to clean out the glitter fallout on my face using the tape. Now using my Pixie Contour Palette, I'm going to lightly contour my face and also highlight my under eye area. I'm not going to add much contour, just a very little amount and then I'm going to blend it out with my powder brush. But when it comes to the blush, I will be applying a generous amount of my Tarte blush in Blissful. I also want to add a little more bright pink on the apples of my cheeks, so I will be adding light pink part from NYX Ombre Blush. I'm going to soften everything using my powder brush. And now using Wet n Wild Highlighter 
which unfortunately broke and bronze champagne will, I will be highlighting the high points of my face. I'm going to add that on my brow bone. In her makeup, Emma is wearing nice peachy tone lipstick. Her lips look well moisturized. It's not too glossy and it's not matte. So I will be first applying the lip liner all over my lips. And for that, I'm using Cotton Candy by Motif Cosmetics. And now I will be adding Real Her Cosmetics Sorry Not Sorry lipstick on top. I'm going to go back to my liner and add some color on top because the lipstick looks a little lighter. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please do the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also connect with me on all other social media outlets. I post there daily. And comment below what you'd like to see on my channel next. I will see you later. Until then, stay blessed.